welcome to my channel that is sometimes booktube. I'm Magic Cat Jenny and I'm going to be going through all the books I read this week for the reading rush from July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. Um, I originally signed up for this reading rush thinking it was going to be the thing that would make my YouTube channel relevant again. Little did I know, the Cats trailer was about to be released. And then my reaction video became the second most viewed video on my channel. And now I have people here expecting cats, which is fine, because you're going to get cats. But you're also going to get books. For those of you who don't know, the Reading Rush is a readathon. It used to be called Booktubeathon. Here is the amount of pages I read each day. I'm going to be inserting this after the week's up because I'm filming this on the last day of Booktubeathon. And I earned all of the badges except for the donation badge. I did not get that one. But I got everything else. Uh, we're going to start with Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. I read this to my son. And by read, I mean sing. But I did... Uh, read it while singing because interesting factoid the words of the poem are not necessarily word for word consistent with the songs some of them are some of them have just verses missing some of them change things so a cat saying it versus the, it being said about a cat if that makes sense um, and there's also a poem in here that is not in the musical cats and that's cat morgan He's a former pirate cat. And in my fan fiction from the early 2000s, he was friends with Growl Tiger. Yikes. Um, uh, become a Patreon. I'll read you my fan fiction. That's a joke, but... What I really love about this edition is it's illustrated by Edward Gorey, and I just love all of the creepy, dark, but yet also kind of adorable drawings. Like one interesting thing that you don't get from the musical is the humans who are saying these poems have at times their own characteristics. For instance, Old Deuteronomy is being told from the point of view of an old man. And so in the song, when Old Deuteronomy says, my legs may be tottery, I must go slow, in the poem, it's the old man, and earlier he talks about his eyes and his ears, I think. I'm deaf of an ear now. Uh, my sight may be failing. So that's something you don't get from the musical at all, because there's really no humans in the musical except for those in the audience. You. So this wasn't the first book I read for the readathon, but it was one I picked up. Um, cause I was just feeling like singing cats to my son and wanted to sing the original words. Although Cat Morgan, I don't have a tune, so I kind of just read that. I read a lot of board books to my baby. Board books are children's books where the pages are very thick and board-like, so they're not as easily destructible by tiny hands. Uh, and they're easier to hold, so... I got some of these from the library, actually. This is my library haul, not counting the few audiobooks I currently have checked out. The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which of course is a classic. This Zoe and Zach book called Opposites with die-cut pages that I thought was just so fun and cute. I'm really getting into kids' books now that I have one uh, kid. I liked it. It was cute. And then there's this that I found called Unstoppable Me, um, as seen in the feature film Bethany Hamilton Unstoppable. It's about this little surfing lion cub who gets discouraged when it's hard but doesn't give up. And the other physical book I got from the library, I haven't actually finished it as of filming this video, and that's Persepolis, A Story of Childhood. Um, I'm ready to cry. I'm reading another book that's making me cry. Um, audiobook, also not finished at the time of this readathon, The Hate You Give. Um, I was in the shower when I listened to the chapter 
at the beginning and it was it was a lot um, I really really like it so far I may be halfway through so I don't know if I'll finish it by the end of today but um, I really like it which is saying something because I'm normally not that into contemporary the first book I read for the readathon is also an audiobook that I borrowed from the library and that's Inkheart which was on my TBR I listened to Inkheart. I also watched the movie Inkheart because that was one of the challenges. Read a book, watch the movie adaptation thing. Um, I didn't hate the movie. I thought it was cute and I thought the book was also pretty cute. I know it's a series. I don't know if I'm going to continue the series. I'm not super invested in the world. Then the other book of the two books from my TBR, I did read to Baby Peat Bog. And that's The Moomins and The Great Flood. And again, with books that make you cry, I was like, like tears at the end of this book, uh, which I was not expecting. Of course, I didn't really know much about Moomin, but in this book, Moomin Troll and Moomin Mama are searching for Moomin Papa who got lost. And there's this flood and all these creatures lost their homes. And it's just really, really, really emotional. And I was telling my husband about the story and he said, Oh no, Mom and Papa! Because he instantly was like, I'm Mom and Papa! I want more of these now. I just love Moomin so much. I did not expect to love Moomin this much, but I do. So two of my friends came to visit last weekend, right before the readathon, and they brought with them some books. One of my friends works for a publishing company that has a children's section called Flying Eye Books, and, um, he brought Baby Peabog, three beautiful, wonderful books. So I read this one, Mika, the bear who didn't want to sleep, which I think Peabog can relate to. Professor Astrocat's Space Rockets. Very educational, very cute. And this one, which I'll read today to Peabog, is Professor Astrocat's Solar System. I love the illustrations. They're so cool. I love the cats in space. If you know of another edition of Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats that you have or that you like, let me know because I think I'm going to start collecting different editions with different illustrations because I just love seeing people's interpretation based on the poems alone, what they think the characters look like. I, of course, have in my head what I believe the characters to look like, which is heavily based on the 1998 film and original London costumes. The movie has their own idea and I'm going to compare the two. Let me know in the comments who your favorite character from Cats is. And if you're here because of booktube, what's your favorite book about a cat? Thanks for watching. Please check out all the links in my description. I have a discord where I talk to other Cats fans. I have a Patreon. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, a Facebook, I have, I have all the things. So whatever's your thing, you can find me there. And if YouTube's your thing, then you're here and you did it. Good job. Good job. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you soon.